So we want to do a frog video. Okay. So Jimmy, where? What did you just say to me then? I know where you find thousands of frogs. <laughs> thousands of frogs. Wow. Apparently. <laughs> where are you going to find thousands of frogs? You're going to find out. All right. Can't wait for this one. So I didn't quite find a thousand frogs under there. There's quite a few though. They are all uh, eastern, common eastern froglets or common brown froglets. It's another name these little guys go by. They're super cute. Um, speaking of am amphibians and numbers, there are about 8,000 recognized amphibian species. They've been discovering 150 a year. Um, 90, almost 90% 90 of them are frogs or toads. They are extremely important for the environment. Um, they're what's called a bellwether species, which means that they, they're an indicator of the health of the environment. The more frogs, more amphibians in the area, uh, the better, the healthier the waterways are. I'm relatively new to being active on Instagram, so I'm getting sucked into some of the ads that I'm seeing as I scroll through and check out people's posts. And I got sucked into buying one of these, which is a microscopic camera what I'm hoping I can do is zoom right in on the skin of this frog see something about their skin that makes them so uh, so cool and so important they absorb oxygen through the water um, and also they absorb moisture their skin is actually semi permeable so if the water's polluted or toxic then there won't be any frogs or amphibians around so the more frogs the healthier waterways are they can breathe through the air, but most frogs will try and stay moist because it allows them to absorb or dissolve oxygen through their skin. So they're drinking water through their skin and they're absorbing oxygen through their skin. So you can imagine how important their skin is and if they're in filthy waterways and it's a real problem. In fact, they just won't exist. While I was using my new wristband camera, I actually lost my other frog. He jumped away, good on him, got back into his habitat. But this little one, I just found another one. Another eastern froglet, same thing. Common Why? froglet. Why you ask? But I wanted to just finish by saying how not only are they important indicators for the good environment or healthy ecosystem, but they are super important as a food source for so many carnivals. I don't know enough, I don't know many carnivals, certainly that are big enough to eat a frog that won't eat one. So super important to have these awesome critters around. Frog sales! Why? Why? Do <laughs> this